Today we are going to explore how you can quickly create Harvey balls within PowerPoint using ThinkCell. Before we explore how to do so, let's do a quick recap about what Harvey balls are and where ThinkCell fits within the picture. Harvey balls are round ideograms or pictograms that show different states of the balls with quarters added or subtracted to attain five states between start and complete. They have been named after Harvey L. Poppel, who started using them in the 1970s. They are often used in business reports, documents and presentations because they show progressive data at a quick glance. We have a detailed article on Harvey Balls, which also tells you how you can create them in PowerPoint. And a link to that article can be found in the description below if you are watching this video on YouTube. Now about ThinkCell. This is an amazing PowerPoint add-in that helps you create charts, tables and graphics within PowerPoint with many more capabilities and possibilities than just using PowerPoint. So if you can create Harvey Balls in PowerPoint then why use ThinkCell? There are two reasons. Firstly, it's easier and completely editable. Secondly, if you already have ThinkCell, you might as well use it to create and insert customizable Harvey Balls. So let's get started. Make sure ThinkCell is installed on your system. If you do not use ThinkCell, a trial version is available that you can download from the site. A link is available in the description below. Yes, ThinkCell is available on both Windows and Mac. To install, you need PowerPoint installed on your Windows or Mac computer. To insert a Harvey ball on your slide using ThinkCell, you first access the Insert tab of the ribbon in PowerPoint. If you have ThinkCell installed and active, you will find the ThinkCell group as you can see here. Next, click the Large Elements button that you see here and a drop-down menu will be revealed with many options. We will choose the Harvey ball option that you see here. Once you click this option, your cursor changes into a crosshair with a small box. You can drag and resize this box as you place, but it's easy to change the size later. So let's just go ahead and single click any one of the slide and you will see that ThinkCell has already placed a small Harvey ball. Let us first click on the Harvey ball to bring up the floating ThinkCell palette. We will now change to a larger font size such as 28. Although 28 may seem like the largest font size available, you can actually type it in a larger size as needed. We typed in 44 points here and that resulted in a much larger Harvey ball. Let's make this even larger so that you can get a better preview of any changes we make. The font size is now being changed to 100 points. Let's resize the box as needed. The next choice you need to make is about how many segments you want to use as a base for the Harvey ball. Typically, four segments are what is used so that each segment denotes 25%. This is also the default option. To try more than four segments, let us go ahead and add another Harvey ball. This is easily achieved by clicking on the plus key on the bottom or any other direction. As you can see, now we have two similar Harvey balls. Now for the segments, let's click on this Harvey ball and this is the area which shows you how many segments you can have. We can change from 4 segments to 2 segments or 3 segments or even 8 segments and this 8 segments option is what we are going to choose now. Now let's go and add 3 more Harvey balls on the top row. And similarly, we'll go and add seven more Harvey balls in the bottom row. Why we have ending up with four Harvey balls at the top and eight at the bottom? Because we have four segments for all the Harvey balls on the top row and we have eight segments for all the Harvey balls in the bottom row. We will now change the number of filled in segments in individual Harvey balls. To do so, let's click on the second Harvey ball in the top row 
and change the number of segments this is the option that you see here to two similarly we'll next select the next harvey ball and change the segments to three and finally we will select the last harvey ball in this row and change the number of segments to four in the bottom row though we will follow an easier process rather than bringing up the thing cell menu just double click to add more segments for example i want to add an extra segment here so i'm just going to double click once and over here i'm going to double click once and twice and that's what we're going to do for the rest of the hobby balls Once you fill in all the segments, another double click results in an empty Harvey ball devoid of any segments. Double click again as many times needed to add more segments. Let us now duplicate all the Harvey balls together. To do so, select all the Harvey balls and then you will click the duplicate below button. To select all the Harvey balls, you can select the first Harvey ball and then click the shift key and go and click on the one second, the last heavy ball and all of them are selected and you can click this down duplicate arrow button you can see that whatever you selected gets duplicated now as you can see all heavy balls are filled with black you can easily change the color let's first go and deselect all of them Select the first Harvey ball and then shift click, click on the last Harvey ball. Then carefully click once to bring up the thing cell floating toolbar. The first color option is for segment fills over here. Whereas the second color option is for the outline of the circle. You can change both the segment fill and the circle outline colors to any of the options available. Such as, let's go and click on the segment fill ka fill and you can choose any of the theme colors you can choose any of the thing cell colors you can choose from grayscale color options patterns or any custom color that you want and you can also choose the eyedropper tool to sample any color from your slide for now let's just go and choose thing cell red next let's go and try changing the color of the outline of the circle We can change it to the same color as what we have chosen for the segments and this is typically what is standard and preferable but you can choose to use any other color if you so need. You can also go and change the line thickness of the circle outline. So let's go and choose something thicker. Yes, that should work great. So as you can see, Thingsail is a very capable tool to create heavy balls. Of course, creating Harvey balls is probably not even the tip of the iceberg as far as Thingsell's capabilities are concerned. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button. To see more of our videos about creating better presentations fast, do subscribe to our channel and have an awesome day. Explore more concepts at InDesign.com InDesign. Make better presentations. Fast.